Okay, look, don't pay attention to poles, please. All you're gonna do is, it'll, it'll have your head spinning, okay? And it does. I'm 71 fucking years old. You don't think I've seen a few elections? Huh? Really? Do you know how often since I was a voting adult that polls have been right? Would you like me to tell you how many times the polls have been right? Zero. Zero. Not one poll from one source. Period. They always get it wrong. As a matter of fact, if you were a betting person, you could probably make some money on, the, on the, that average, the number of times they got it wrong. Um, don't listen to polls. Um, so this is Fox News's take on the donations to Kamala Harris. This is their take. Oh, that's, that's from millionaires and billionaires. That came right out of Laura Trump's mouth. You see, they, they don't understand. Television, I don't think people understand. Okay? Um, I know my country's not as fucked up as the Republicans would like us to think it is. Because they're counting on the people that think the country is fucked up to put them in office, to fix it. And so it's, we're the millionaires and billionaires. Wait a minute, Elon Musk is saying, I'm going to give you $45 million a month for your campaign. Of course, he did recently back out, didn't he? They always do. But still, come on. Fucking the, the Republicans are nothing but millionaires and billionaires, Right? The Saudis just gave his son-in-law fucking two billion dollars. There's nothing but billionaires and millionaires over there. Let me tell you, okay, so they had 880,000 people donate to raise 81 million dollars. So evidently, Laura Trump's really shitty at fucking math. Or billionaires have gotten exceptionally cheap and went from 45 billion dollars a month to 91 dollars. Okay? Don't listen to the polls. Do not listen to the polls. They've always been wrong. It is simply to have your eyeballs locked on there because you're, you're going through this emotional what the fuck. How can Donald Trump be even with Kamala Harris or Joe Biden? Well, he's not. And the fact that these fucking people never get it through their thick heads that independents do not participate in polls. And that is the majority of people in this country. They're not Republicans or Democrats. They're not, they're, they're not into fucking politics. They use common sense. They're middle class. Okay? Donald Trump had his big fucking, here, you can buy me gig. Okay? At Mar-a-Lago. You give me a billion dollars and I'll give you guys whatever you want. Guess what? Not a single one of those fucking people endorsed Donald Trump. Not a single one. Okay? This, this should tell you where the smart money is. The smart money. These f fucking people know exactly who's going to win in November and that the Republicans are going to get fucking smashed and they're trying to figure out ways to cover their asses right now. Okay? They are. They're trying, okay, what are we going to fucking do when the Democrats ha control all three houses and they start putting the clamp down? Okay, you might have to pay for the damage that you've done to this planet with your product just like any other one, fucking cigarettes, lead, right? It's, there's no fucking difference. These people have known, they have lied for, what, 70 fucking years that I know of. They knew, they absolutely knew in 1964-65 when they had Keeling, Dr. Keeling go out measuring uh, carbon dioxide all over the planet. And they knew when he came back and said, okay, this is, here's the data. They went, okay, well, you're not going to work on carbon dioxide anymore. You're, we're going to have you work on other gases. He knew what was going on. They knew what was going on. They should be held accountable, okay, for every fucking dime that it takes us to pick up from the next, you know, climate-caused disaster that's always this, you know, we're having too many hundred and thousand-year floods, too many thousand-year storms. 1851, they've been keeping records since 1851. 
in, in the southwest Atlantic and there's never been a fucking hurricane come out of there. And you get barrel. Since 1851. I'm not saying there's never been one, but since 1851, there's never fucking been one. No, you see these millionaires and billionaires are shitting their fucking pants. Okay, because common sense is going to, okay, you're going to pay your fair share from now on. We're tired of having deficits. And, and then you guys raising our gas up, not building a new gas plant since 19-fucking-64 so you could control our gas prices, okay? You motherfuckers, okay, you're going to pay for the damage you did. You're going to further now divest and invest in better battery technology because that's the key to electrification is battery technology. It's not solar panels or fucking wind turbines or water turbines or anything else, okay? It's batteries. This is why the Republicans are scared. And they want to associate, see, they're going for this disenfranchised guy. You know who the disenfranchised guy is? The guy that barely fucking got out of eighth grade. He feels disenfranchised because he is disenfranchised. And the people that did it to him are the governors and the fucking people running his state. The lowest level of ed education, okay, the top five red states are the top five in shitty fucking education, shitty medicine, uh, uh, child mortality, you name it. Who takes more money from the United States government than any other fucking state? Those five red states. See, and they want you to think that you know, that's a reality and it's not a reality. That's a fucking system that these good old boys have set up in place to keep themselves in power. And so they influence these polls. They spend every dime they can, every contact they have, to try to convince you that you're going to vote for a loser. Or you're just going to not vote because you're fuck it then, you know what I mean? If my guy's not going to win, then I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump. I'm just not going to fucking vote. That's what they hope for because they've never won the popular vote. Not in what? Eight, the last eight elections, they haven't won the popular vote? What the fuck, man? Huh? Okay. We can talk about getting rid of the Electoral College another time, but that has to fucking go too, okay? We're no longer living in the dark ages. We get our, we, you don't have to be our information point. You know, the way, the reason was that to, to make sure that, that the people's feelings were accounted for, that your duty is to vote for the, who the people want in office, okay? Well, we all have information right here at our fingertips now. You, you no longer have to do a job for us that's no longer needed, because that is the only way the Republicans had any taste of power, is when the Electoral College fucking elected him. And every time a, a Republican gets in, he loses the popular vote, but he's put in by the Electoral College, okay? If there's anything destroying the faith in America's elections, it's the Electoral College,